Now, as Hazel was saying, out of the World Cup one day and paraded, I'm afraid to say, as a nation of dunces the next. 4,000 people from 19 countries took part in a big general knowledge test answering questions on European history, geography and culture. As Robert Nisbet reports, we finished, how can I put this, poles apart. Sherbourne near Dorset. While its roots are sunk deep in the English countryside, its branches extend far into Europe. It has twin towns in all 15 members of the European Union, and some that aren't, like Hoyna in Poland. Welcome, Thomas. It's great to see you again. Today, a group from Hoyna is visiting the prep school in its English country sibling. And it seems we could all benefit from such a cultural exchange. 4,000 people across Europe were asked 20 multiple choice questions on subjects ranging from European history to popular culture. While British respondents were left wanting, the Polish, well, they were poles apart. Here's an example of the questions asked. What is the capital of Romania? Budapest, Bratislava or Bucharest? The answer is C. The 19 countries were then ranked in order of the number of questions answered correctly. Prizes to Poland, Denmark and Italy. Dunces hats to the UK and Portugal. Tend to be too insular and uh, too concerned with what we're doing and not enough about what's going on in the big wide world. Perhaps if we'd asked the questions about the World Cup, uh, people might have, uh, uh, the British might have had a, a higher percentage of correct answers. Come into the library. The visitors say Poland's desire to join the EU has given the country a thirst for knowledge. We want to be a member of the European Union, so it's very important for, for us. We want to know everything about Europe. Polish uh, people uh, study in other countries and learn other language. For us in the UK, it seems some extra homework about our geographical neighbours wouldn't go amiss. Robert Nisbet, BBC News, Sherbourne.